Greetings, my friends. We will continue our journey into Module 2, uh, looking at the normal distribution curve. In the last little video, we, we welcomed you to Module 2, told you that we would start out through a series of lectures, and here we go. This lecture is about probability percent in decimals. Now, you probably think you understand probability percent in decimals. Now guys, I've been around a long time. I'm not certain I understand probability percent in decimals. These are difficult topics when they are interchanged, but I want to give you an opportunity to see how we will use them in the land of statistics. It is important that you develop the ability to interchange probability percent and decimals at will. We will begin with probability. Uh, probability is the likelihood that an event will occur. Some examples of probability are that something should happen three out of seven times. Uh, for instance, I might as a child have backtalked my mother seven times and had a likelihood of gotten a beating three out of seven of those times. Maybe I could have outrun her the other four. Three out of seven is an example of a probability. Ten out of thirteen or seventeen out of nineteen. Now, if you look at these just a moment, you see that uh, they're very difficult to compare. Uh, 3 out of 7, 10 out of 13, 17 out of 19, those are very difficult to compare. And do you see the need that we might have to standardize when we start talking about probability? Uh, look at some of these. 12 out of 100 times an event will occur. 18 out of 100. 8. 18.4 out of 100 times an event will occur. Doesn't it occur to you as you look at these that by standardizing these on so many events out of 100, we have a much easier way to compare. We can instantly recognize that 18.4 times happens more than 12 out of 100 or more than 18 out of 100. Now, this makes comparison much easier. Let's move on and talk about percent. Uh, Percent is another way of expressing how many out of 100. In the old uh, world, back when they used to actually interchange money, some of us remember that. They had cash registers. A cent, a penny, mattered. I remember when you could get uh, uh, three pieces of big bubble gum for a penny, or you could buy a candy bar for three cents or a Coke for five pennies. Now, back in those days, percent was seen as a way of expressing how many cents out of a dollar. Therefore, since there are 100 cents in a dollar, percent is another way of expressing how many out of 100. 17% means 17 out of 100. 23%, and you notice the percent sign, means 23 out of 100. 98% means 98 out of 100. Percent notation comes from the business world and is founded on cents out of a dollar. If you'll recall a minute ago, we were talking about, say, 18 out of 100. Here we're talking about 17 out of 100. 17 out of 100 is also written as 17%. So we're beginning to tie these together. 17% was 17 cents out of a dollar. 23% was 23 cents out of a dollar. 98% was 98 cents out of a dollar. Probabilities are often expressed in percents. Since we have taken probabilities and we have uh, seen that it is easy to standardize them on times out of 100, then we can also express them as percents. 17% can be seen as 17 out of 100, which can also be seen as a probability that something will happen 17 out of 100 times. Now, probability as percent is, is really cool. This is the means of easily expressing the likelihood that an event will occur. Some examples, we have a 40% chance of rain. Uh, that means that 40 times out of 100, we're going to have rain under these same circumstances. Means 40 out of 100 times with similar circumstances, it will rain. This also means that in 60 out of 100 times with similar circumstances, it will not rain. And where did I get that? Well, I knew that the total chance of rain was 100%. 
and 40% says it's going to rain, that means 100 minus 40 tells us what's the likelihood that it's not going to rain. So there's a 60% chance that it will not rain when we have a 40% chance that it will rain. 40% chance means 40 times out of 100. 60% that it won't rain means 60 out of 100 times it will not rain. The chance it will rain and it will not rain add up to 100. So there's 100% that it's either going to rain or not rain. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Probabilities are really actually very, very easy. You just have to see that a probability can be written as a percent. Now let's move forward. Uh, probability is a percent. Uh, some other examples uh, uh, expressing the likelihood that an event will occur. We have a 17.5 chance of being selected. Our chance of being selected is 17.5 out of 100. Our chance of not being selected is 82.5 out of 100. Our chance of being selected and our chance of not being selected add up to 100. So we have a 100% chance that one or the other is going to occur. Uh, laugh about that in a way. I remember when my wife was pregnant with our first child many years ago, and I asked the doctor, is it going to be a boy or a girl? He answered me, yes. Hmm. I guess we had 100% that one or the other was going to occur. Uh, we have a 100% chance of being selected or not being selected. Probabilities are actually quite easy. Now, what we want to do is move on from probabilities to percents into decimals. Uh, percents can be written as decimals, and decimals can be written as percents. For example, 17% is 17 out of 100. 0.17 is a fraction, which means 17 out of 100. 17% uh, equals 0.17 equals 17 out of 100. So we can write that as a, a percent, we can write it as a decimal, or we can write it as a probability. 23% is 23 out of 100. And 0.23 is a fraction, which means 23 out of 100. So 23% is equal to 0.23 equals 23 out of 100. Notice that 23% can be written as a decimal, 0.23. What we actually did is move the decimal over two places and drop the percent sign. 23% can be written as the decimal 0.23, and 0.3 can be written as a probability 23 out of 100. Now, this is actually pretty easy. You just have to know that you can interchange probabilities, percents, and decimals because we will do that ad nausea as we learn to read the z-score probability tables. Seeing decimals as percents, uh, and decimals can be converted to percents by moving the decimal places two places over to the right. This is like multiplying the decimal by 100. Some examples. We have a decimal 0.1459. That's equal to, if we move that decimal over two places, which is like multiplying it by 100 and adding a percent sign, it changes to 14.59%. So 0.1459 can be written as 14.59% by simply moving the decimal two places to the right. 0.2758 can be written as 27.58%. Uh, 0.0005 can be written as 0.05%. The probability tables that we will use are usually written as decimals with four places. The probability tables will be written as decimals in this form. And oh, look at there, I had a little mistake. That Pretend that's an eight. That will be written as decimals, and we will need to see them as percents. And this is actually fun. In summary, probability is the likelihood that an event will occur. Percent is another way of expressing how many events out of 100 will occur, and a decimal is a way of writing a fraction in base 10. This allows us to view events in terms of how many events out of 100, if we choose to see it that way. Probability percent and decimal numbers are interchangeable. Uh, they allow us to standardize in terms of the number of chances out of 100. Uh, I told you that this was going to be easy, that you would get it down. Probability, percent, and decimal just simply need to be able to interchange them at will. 
Now, I want to thank you very much for your support. As I've told you in the past, your patronage keeps my family fed. In the, in the mantra of the Hunger Games, may the odds be ever in your favor. And again, that's unless we're in the same competition. Then it's every man for himself. You have a great day.